Welcome to our new learning episode. Today, we'll find out separating mixtures through hand picking, scooping, and flotation. We are now on the fifth week of our first quarter day three. At the end of the learning episode, you are expected to describe hand picking as a method of separating easily identifiable materials from a mixture. Analyze the process of scooping and flotation as technique in separating mixtures and utilize the methods of hand picking, scooping, and flotation in simple household chores. Before we proceed to our lesson, let me ask you five questions. You will only choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Name the separation technique as shown in the picture. A. Sieving B. Flotation C. Scooping Letter D. Hand Picking Correct answer is letter D. Number 2. What technique could be used to separate less dense particles in the mixture? A. Sieving B. Flotation Letter C, scooping. Letter D, hand picking. The correct answer is C. Number 3. Which of these mixtures can be separated by hand picking? A. Mixture of plastic toys. B. Mixture of needle and hay. C. Mixture of salt and vinegar. Letter D. Mixture of pebbles, sand, and soil. The correct answer is letter A. Number 4. Which of these substances can be separated by flotation? A. Salt and vinegar. B. Plastic toys inside a bag. C. Sliced fruits and vegetables. Letter D. Small plastic bottles mixed with wood and metal scraps. The correct answer is letter D. Which of the following statements is correct? A. Playing hand picking with parents to clean rice is a better habit. B. Playing with plastic toys in a clean pail is a good time. C. Throwing plastic waste materials in bodies of water is tolerable right now due to flotation technique. Letter D. Playing marbles and stones inside the house is okay because they can be easily separated through hand picking. The correct answer is letter A. Module 14, you have learned about the importance of sieving and use of magnets in your daily tasks or even the beneficial use in your community. Can you still recall how sieving and use of magnets are used to separate mixtures? Let's have a simple activity to refresh your mind. Name the separation technique being used to separate mixtures or substances illustrated in the pictures below. Very good, you got it! Mixtures and other substances can be separated easily. Hand picking, scooping, and flotation are techniques which we can utilize in order to get a suitable substance for use in our daily task. Let's find out how. 
mixtures and other substances can be separated easily. Hand picking is a method of separating easily identifiable materials from a mixture. This method is the most used in separating a mixture. Components of heterogeneous mixture can be separated easily identified with the use of our hands. Scooping is another easy way of separating a mixture. It is done through the use of a scoop. A scoop is a tool with a handle and curved open end. It is used to dig out and move an amount of substance from a more dense substance to a lesser one if mixture is left undisturbed. Separation of solids by density difference is done through the method called flotation. When we put water over a mixture of plastic bottles, metal scraps, woods, and other debris, some substances will sink while others will flow. The floaters can then be skimmed off the surface. The substances are then separated and can be removed separately. To further enhance your knowledge about the separation techniques mentioned earlier, let us do some activities that shows a technique in separating mixtures by hand picking, scooping, and flotation. Let's call this activity Mix and Pick. What you will need? 4 clear plastic or glass containers, 1 large bowl, 10 pieces of clothes buttons, 10 pieces of small stones, 10 pieces of coins, and 10 pieces of mongo seeds. What you will do? Mix the clothes buttons, small stones, coins, and mongo seeds in a large bowl. Write the appearance of the mixture. Start the timer. Pick the individual components of the mixture one at a time. Record how much time you'll spend in separating each component. Use a timer in recording your time spent in each component. Use this table to record your findings. You may do this also during your free time. Once you are done, submit it to me using our online platform. One last activity. Let's call this as Sukme. Direction. Identify the separation technique that can be used to separate the following mixtures. Mixture of toys inside the box. Next, mixture of fruits and vegetable in the basket. And last, mixture of metal scraps, plastic bottles, other debris material in an area of stagnant water. To summarize what you have learned, complete the paragraph by supplying the correct word. Write your answers on the separate sheet of paper. What do you think is the missing word in the first column? Blank is a method of separating easily identifiable blank from a mixture. First, Hand picking. Solid materials. What do you think on the second column? Blank is another easy way of separating a mixture. It is done through the use of a blank.
cook. What do you think is the missing word on the third column? Separation of solids by density difference is done through the method called black. The answer is flotation. Can I tell a story? I was 7 years old when I started to help my parents in preparing our meal for dinner. My mother asked me to remove husks and stones from the rice grains. I did it by way of hand picking. Through it, I was able to separate the husks and stones from the rice grains and made me realize that machines will not be able to do the job as thoroughly as people can. Would you agree? Now, it is your turn to know how you can apply today's lesson in your daily life. Do the next activity in the boxes below your picture showing how you apply hand picking, scooping, and flotation in your daily life. I am sure you are now equipped with the knowledge about the lessons discussed a while ago. Answer the given question and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? Question number one. It is an example of a solid-to-solid -solid mixture that can be separated by hand picking. A. Oil and water. B. Butter and sugar. C. Corn and carrot mix. Letter D. Salt and ground pepper. The correct answer is letter C. Number 2. Which of the following methods is the best way to separate a mixture of solids by density difference? A. Sieving B. Flotation C. Decanting What do you call a tool with a handle and a curved open end that is used to dig out and move an amount of substance from a mixture? A. Sieve B. Scoop C. Strainer Letter D. Filter paper Correct answer is letter B. Scoop Number 4. Which of the following methods is applicable to be used in separating easily identifiable material from a mixture? A. CV B. Flotation C. Scooping Letter D. Hand picking Correct answer is letter D. Which of the following statements is a correct practice? A. We scoop foods without using a serving spoon. Letter B. We hand pick only ripe vegetable in the garden. Letter C, we play with plastic toys that float using a big basin. And letter D, we handpick foods using our bare hands while eating. The correct answer is letter B.
Thank you for listening and I hope to see you again on the next discussion.